I'm sitting because I'm trying to get the glare off my eyes, but it's not working too well. Welcome back. My name is Laura. It is Saturday. That means that my family and I went to the bi-weekly mobile food pantry that is local to us. If you're new here, we do videos like this. I cook a lot. Who knows what else the heck I'll do. It's crazy here, but we love having new best friends. I love you guys so much. Please feel free to subscribe. A little bit about us. We are a family of five. I have, or we have three girls, 11, two, and one. She just turned one last week, or this past week. And my husband works more than full time to support us so that I can stay home. One, because we feel it is important to have one of us with our girls. And two, because the, the, the job that I would need to find to be able to make money after childcare would have to be a very high paying job. I do have two bachelors. I have a bachelor's in public health and a bachelor's in university studies with minors in communication and child development. But I haven't used those degrees. Well, I did work at as a behavioral health specialist, which kind of used my public health degree. And that was helping kiddos who had behavioral issues, autism, or had attempted to commit suicide. So I have been, I have worked, I worked up until my two-year-old was almost one. And then we found out I was pregnant again and I stayed home. Hold on, let me rustle some dogs. I now dog sit so that I can help bring in some extra money and maybe go to Vegas on the cheap. $39 with points, one way free hotel. I'm all about going and eating some cup of noodles, bring my canned beans back here and just watching movies in the hotel and hanging out with my husband for two days because I haven't hung out with him for a while. Anyways, um, we are a working family. We still struggle at the end of the week to have money. We don't have extra money. We don't have extra things. If I buy stuff, it's on super sell. One second. Dang it, I clicked out of the video. Um, or we go thrifting. You're gonna hear my dogs, they need their nails cut. I realize that, I'm busy. I have had at least four to six extra dogs at my house for two weeks now, and life has happened. So if anyone wants to come over and help me, since it's really hard to do by yourself, I'll, I'll make you lunch. <coughs> Excuse me. So, at the end of the week, we still don't have a lot of money. Sometimes we just have love and smiles to give each other. So by using the food pantry, I am able to stretch our budget. There's a cat on the table. Gustav, get off the table. Um, and it helps us cover the, the essential bills. So if you are in the same boat at the end of the day, you don't have, you only have smiles and hope too, please think about utilizing your food pantry. There's information below. There's a group of us that have become friends. If you are not even in my country, there's connection. Do you see him trying to lick the chocolate? Sherman. This is Sherman. He's bad. Um, then look below or email me and I can try and help you. I can't check my email. I haven't done that in a minute. Um, don't feel ashamed. It is not for the elderly and the disabled and the homeless only. Because a lot of the stuff that you get, if you did not have a house or a kitchen, it would be very hard. You, you couldn't. One time I got 75 pounds of frozen strawberries. What is, if I was homeless, where the heck am I going to put all, or not strawberries, blueberries. Where am I going to put all of that? Like, it would go bad. Or the meats. So, don't think that you're not able to go. You deserve to eat. You deserve to be confident in how you're going to feed yourself or your or you and your family, do not be embarrassed. Everybody there is there for the same reason. Nobody should be judging you. Nobody should be telling you that you're not allowed to go because nobody knows your life and your story. And frankly, it's not our place to judge anybody else's business. If it's not affecting them negatively, negatively then they need to just shh and not say anything. So you deserve to eat. Go. If you need to go, go. Also, this lighting is making me look wrong. Fabulous. I'm very hot though. 
and I had to turn off the fan because it sounds like I'm in a wind tunnel. But anyways, let's get to it. Oh, update on my chicken because I keep forgetting. I think she has like a neurological problem. She's eating, she's drinking, she just cannot get her balance and walk right. Did I talk about this last night? I might have. And it's so cute because there's always a chicken. It looked like I didn't have a tooth for a second. There's always a chicken who lays with her. Which protects her. I think I did talk about this last night. If I did, you heard it, you heard it again. Oh, old dog. She's 16. She needs to come and choose one potty. One second. Here's the preview. And you're going to hear her nails because she's 16 almost. And her nails were not cut properly during her life. So they can't be cut. Even if I had a helper. So... Let's start with produce. Look at how delicious and beautiful those oranges are. They are so bright. I'm so excited to eat them. A big bag of onions cannot ever have enough onions. I, don't, I can't tell if they're just dirty or if they're bad, but they feel firm. So hopefully they're good. This bunch of cilantro, it kind of is all this way and that way. So I'm gonna have to put it in a cup and get it back crisp. There's a little salad. It is a berry and spring mix salad. And it looks like there might be a little bit in there that's starting to wilt, but otherwise it looks pretty good. A bag of Granny Smith apples. A huge bag of broccoli. Three pounds of broccoli. Mmm. We love broccoli here. A big thing of carrots. Also something that we eat all the time here. I eat, We probably eat carrots every day. A family size mushroom ravioli these are from chick-fil-a I am certain and they're just their chicken nuggets a what is this Malibu garlic and onion boneless it says chicken breast but I thought it was fish when I first looked at it I don't know some kind of meat of some sort organic pasture raised beef amazing i also make uh, lasagnas every other week for families in my community so stuff like this is always good because if we don't eat it i will make something for somebody who has requested a meal a pork roast and i believe wendy told me these are two pounds six cherry vanilla yogurts a cinnamon balanced multigrain cereal. That kind of reminds me of like life or cereal. Two big bags. I think they're two pounds of white rice. Yes, two pounds, which is amazing because we eat a lot of rice here too. These are cool. Uh, protein mill bar, 13 grams. And they look like Oreo. That'll be fun. My 11 year old will love this. Cinnamon toast crunch cookies. And that is my husband's favorite cereal. So I'm sure she'll be excited to make those as a treat for him wide egg noodles i love getting egg noodles because we get pasta a lot but not always egg noodles and i love making stroganoff with it white bread it is a staple in this house so very very thankful for that shelled hazelnuts i still have not done it but i want to try and make nutella so i need to do that now that the babies are getting a little bit bigger and naps are a little bit more scheduled um Ezekiel taco say tortilla. I actually really do like Ezekiel bread. So I'm, I've never had the tacos though. So that's cool. These little tiny, almost like street taco tacos. They almost look homemade. I wonder where those are from. Angel hair pasta. Great in the house. Two pumpkin spice things up sprays. My husband hates pumpkin spice. I love it. Um, so, but I mean, I guess you spray it after you're not gonna be in that room anymore because it's stinky, so whatever, right? Very, very thankful for that and that will come in handy. Um, hello? Why are Fritos so good? Like seriously, they're one of my favorite chips. We are a chip family. That is one of our, Sherman is jumping. I have a baby gate up so they can't come in the kitchen and he's just jumping it. Um, our favorite snacks at night after we get the girls down, we watch a show and have some chips if we have them. So. That'll be stuck away for the adults in this house. Two refried beans, and I don't think I even have any refried beans, so that's cool. A diced tomatoes, a cream of chicken, and a tomato soup. One big can of chicken breast. I used to be kind of like, ooh, because I don't like tuna. And it, the texture 
was kind of the same, but I've, I've been putting it in things and actually really enjoying it. Sherman, stop pacing all around. Two tunas and my kids and my husband like tuna. So we appreciate that. This is some coffee. I have a Keurig, but I have the refillable. Sherman, come here. I have the refillable uh, little K-cup thing, so that's amazing. Two peanut butters. Um, the biggest one eats peanut butter probably every day, so that's cool. A solid chocolate cross, which somebody will eat. Oh my gosh, now the other one jumped the gate. And then these little chocolate bunnies, Reese's peanut butter. So I'm going to stick that in the candy thing because after dinner, the girls are allowed a dessert and candy is one of the choices. So one of these will be a perfect size for dessert. That's what we have. That's Lucy. She's real old. Lucy. Lucy. She can't hear or see really anymore. Hi, Lucy. See, her nails are real long, but my husband got her when she was four weeks old and didn't maintain her nail health like he should have. So her quicks are real long and we just can't get them cut. But anyways, I am sweating. <laughs> That's it. I got to get this stuff put away. I got to make a lasagna. I got to do laundry. I got to go take care of the chickens. I got all the things to do. Thank you for stopping by. I truly appreciate you watching these videos. Please subscribe if you would like. Like, comment, all the things. Have a good week. Bye besties.